While this may sound unbelievable, Tesla produces a new car every 30 seconds at the Giga Shanghai facility. But how are they able to churn out new cars so quickly? Let's see in today's video. Although the 30-second mark is achieved by Giga Shanghai, the process of making Teslas is more or less the same everywhere. So, to give you an idea of production, let's explore how a Model Y is made at the Giga factory in Texas. The first step in this process will be making the body, which is made up of panels. Tesla will use a process called stamping to do this. The shape of the part you want to make is held by the two halves of a D-shaped mold. Then, you will put a metal sheet you usually aluminum, between the two halves. The machine presses down on the metal sheet to make the needed shape. After that, the next step will be to put it all together. The big robot arms and conveyor belts start to help out at this point. They weld all those stamped pieces together to start making the skeleton of the Model Y body. As the skeletons move from one robot to the next down the line, each one adds a new piece to the puzzle. Once it's done, the facility starts putting on the body parts like the fenders, doors, hood, and trunk. Robots can just stick these on, so there will be people putting all of this bodywork together and bolting it down. Then the assembled body goes to the paint shop, where the primer is sprayed on and it is sanded down until it's flat. Then the car goes through long spraying, dipping, and drying process. After the paint has dried, buffed, and polished, the body is sent to have all the interior panels installed the electronics wired up, and the glass put in. Now, all of this will be going on simultaneously as a separate process to make the model undercarriage and engine. This will start with a structural battery pack for this, which holds all of the 4,680 battery cells in the cooling and electrical architecture. Then, the front and back Giga castings are bolted onto the battery pack and the electric motors are put into place. One in the front and one in the back, each linked to the axles for all four wheels through a gearbox. All of the suspension is built into the castings and the brakes and wheels are added to make a big rolling structure. Then, the workers will put the carpeted floor on top of the battery pack, attach the center console and interior trim, and bolt down all four seats right on top of the structural battery pack. The last big step will be to put the finished body right on top of the assembled frame and powertrain. There are bolts all around the edges of the structural pack and castings that hold the two together. From there, a team of people in charge of final quality control gives Model Y its final touches. So now I think you have a better idea of how the company builds a brand new Tesla at the Shanghai factory every 30 seconds. Without the Giga factory in Shanghai, it's safe to say that Tesla wouldn't be where it is today as a company. Giga Shanghai is expected to make about 1 million and 50,000 cars each year. This is much more than the factory was originally said to be able to make, which was a maximum of 750,000 cars per year. This increase in production is due to a full upgrade of the production line that was done over the summer, just as the factory was reopening after being shut down for several months. In the first 10 months of 2022, Giga Shanghai made 554,778 cars, 59% more than the year before. However, this caused another issue. Elon Musk recently said that there weren't enough boats, trains, or cars to support the deliveries. Giga Shanghai has gotten so good at making Teslas that it sends workers from China to the factory in Fremont, California to help increase production. However, Tesla had to think outside the box in order to reach its goals. When Tesla added the Giga Press casting machine to their production line, Tesla was able to get a lot more cars out of its factories. The numbers were way more than that of GM or Toyota could ever make in a year. The Tesla Fremont factory makes more cars than any other factory in the U.S. In fact, the rate is now over 650,000 units per year. It's great, but it could still be better. So, to help with this, Tesla has brought in some experts from China. About 200 people will go to California for jobs that will last at least three months. Of course, this is good news for Fremont, but it is also good news for Tesla's business in the United States as a whole. We are seeing what a factory can still do after it has reached its 
maximum output. But at the same time, a brand new factory is starting up in Texas, and the lessons learned in Shanghai and Fremont will only make the newest Gigafactory in Giga, Texas even better. Currently, at Giga, Texas, they make 20,000 Model Y cars this year. This was only 151 days after they started making cars. This is even more impressive when you think that they just made their 10,000th Model Y on September 17th. So, we'll have 10,000 cars in 43 days, which is about 1,600 per week. But it's still a long way from Giga Texas's planned capacity, which is about 5,000 cars per week, or 250,000 cars per year. Tesla still has a lot of factory workers, but the goal is to get the same number of people to make more cars. One day to do this is to let robots do the hardest work around the factory. At a Tesla Giga factory, everything is always moving. You can only spit one car out every 30 seconds if you do it this way. Tesla's Giga Press machine is its biggest asset in this regard. It's a way to use die casting on a huge scale to make big chunks of a vehicle's body with just one part. So, for example, Model Y's rear underbody used to be made by 300 separate robots. And that's because a typical vehicle is made up of a lot of small parts that are all held together by welding, fasteners, or glue. It needed automated stamping machines to make all of those parts, and then a lot of robot arms to put them all together. To fix this, Tesla hired IDRA, the best die-casting company in the world. They built the Gigapress, and with that, 300 robots were replaced by one machine. The casting process has only gotten better with the new Giga factories in Texas and Berlin, where they make parts for the back and front of the Model Y with these casting machines. A bigger casting machine will be used to make the Cybertruck in the same way. Tesla already has plans to make a car that is even smaller and cheaper than the Model 3. This new car could cost as little as half as much as the Model 3. They will do this by not making a lower quality product, but rather by using advanced manufacturing techniques to push production time and costs to a new high. That could mean making the whole car out of a single large piece like a Hot Wheels car. So are you impressed by Tesla's production speeds? And will it get any better than this?